Hi, it's Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, I'm going to go through curbs again. Uh, we're going to do going up a small curb forward, um, and the small curb in reverse, and coming down full curbs. Um, in other videos, I've kind of shown you, I've shown you two methods, a gentle approach and a kind of a bump method where you bump the curb and it pulls you up and you go for it. Um, this is by far the safest method, which I'm going to show you. So if my cameraman comes to the side, so you can see this is a, a kind of a good size quarter to curb. You come up for it, so you get square on, and you step forward, and you see that was really painless, and then straight back down. So what I did is I got to about a foot away from the curb, and I kind of went forward, and I allowed the chair to go over it. If you hit the chair too, uh, the curb too irrationally, um, you'll do what's called the bump movement, which will pop the front wheels up and then pop you over it. Uh, but the safest way up is literally just to come up to it square, and then go forward. If you think. You always know how big a curb you can do because you know you don't ever want it to be more than uh, half the way up your front wheel. Um, so I'm going to show you now how to reverse up a curb. Just watch the traffic for two seconds. Okay. So how we're going to reverse up the curb? Same approach. And what we need to do is, do you see my wheels are facing this way? I need to make sure my wheels have done a 180 turn. There we go before I even start trying to attempt it. So I make this nice and square, and I just put the wheel, wheelchair in reverse. My front, oh, my front wheels, get, my back wheels go up, followed by my front wheels. Um, if we want to go down the curb, I'm going to take, I'll take us to the end now. So Rich just follows me. Okay. So this is a perfect example. Let's say that I could, this is the road and there's nowhere else for me to go. I have to come off this curb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square up the curb and I'm going to come straight up it. So it wasn't so slow that it was a massive thud, uh, but it wasn't so fast that it was kind of dangerous and kamikaze. Uh, but it goes to show, I mean, if you look back at that curb I just came off, you know, that's, that's definitely about six, seven inches high. So it's a decent sized curb. Um, so that's the kind of safe way of doing curbs forwards, backwards and coming down them. Just always remember you need to go off curbs completely straight and head on, uh, sensible pace. And you also now allow to have, you need to allow the chance for your wheels to spin. So if I'm going forward, I need my wheels to be that way around. And if I'm going backwards up a curb, I need them to have done their 180 spin to go backwards. If you stop too close to the curb, you're not allowing your wheels to do their 180 spin so your wheels can both uh, come up completely square on. Anyway, uh, thanks for that and I'll see you in the next video.